Craig here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add your domain to your Webmaster Tools account, verify that you own the domain and then also choose your preferred domain should you want to do that option. Alright so I'm just going to assume that you have a Webmaster Tools account set up so I've already gone and logged in. Now I will be blurring some of this out. Uh, I have a couple of different accounts but there's a couple of domains on here I don't really want to make public to everybody. Alright, so what I'm going to do is after I log in I'm going to click on add site and I'm going to enter in my domain name and it was wainvite.com. It's a test domain I have on Wealthy Affiliate Hosting and I'm going to click continue. Now we're going to have to verify that we own this domain name. Now the normal way I always verify is the HTML file verification method. So basically, if I click on this now, it's going to download a file to my computer, which I then have to upload inside of the HTTP docs folder. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that via FileZilla, but then I'm also going to show you another method. So, in this folder here, I now have a file that I need to upload, but I'm going to open up FileZilla and go to my site manager and connect to wainvite.com. Now if you don't know how to connect via FileZilla, uh, check out you know or enter FTP into WA search and I'm sure you'll see some other tutorials on how to locate your domain details. So I'm going to click on connect and connect. So in this right side window here we have all of the folders and directories for the domain name wainvite.com and I need to go inside of the HTTP docs folder so I'm going to double click on it and this is where we have to upload our file now on the left side here we have uh, folders and files from my computer now I know I want to go inside WA video folder and I'm going to press refresh here and here is the folder which I need to upload now to do that I can select it right click and press upload I can select it and just drag it over. See the plus icon, that means that it's going to upload it. Or if I can't locate the file in here, I can simply find the folder from on my computer, select the file and just drag it over and it will upload like that. So I've uploaded it, but I'm going to delete it because I want to show you another method on verifying it. Because right now, if I click verify, it would work and it would be verified. So let me just delete that file so it doesn't cause any problems. So let's say you didn't want to do it the FTP way. There are some other methods. So we have a HTML tag method, uh, Google Analytics. If you have a Google Analytics account and you've verified the site, you should be able to verify, you know, join the two, two together. And you can also do it via the domain name provider, but I'm not going to show you that method. We're going to do the HTML tag method because it's pretty easy. So what you'll have to do is copy this line of code. And it says right here, copy the meta tag below and paste it into your site's home page. It should go in the head section before the first body section. So because most people at Wealthy Affiliate will be running WordPress sites, uh, I'm going to log into this uh, into the dashboard wainvite.com and under appearance we have an editor now I want to locate my header.php file and what we have to locate is it's right here it's the the opening head tag and I recommend that you just paste it in below it so I'm pressing control V to paste it in now, if you're having trouble finding this head thing, and you've definitely opened up the header.php file, sometimes what I'll do is press Control F on my keyboard, and you know you can just start typing in what you're trying to locate, and there it, it'll highlight it'll highlight it for me. So I've pasted that in, and I'm going to click Update File. If for some reason the Update File button is not there, you will need to change the file permission. But just Google, uh, not Google, put file permission into WA search and you should find a resource or a video covering that. So 
that has been updated. So now I can verify that I own the site. And there we go, we've verified it. So I'm going to click continue. So it's not really got any data because it doesn't really know anything about this website. So now under configuration, we have a settings link. And here we can set our preferred domain. Now with WordPress blogs, you can only have, like if you choose not to have www when you set an app or in the settings of your blog, then and somebody enters in www, it will redirect them to the correct URL. Now, if this was like a HTML site, uh, basically these are two different sites and Google can treat them as duplicate content. Now, I believe with WordPress, you don't really have to worry about this too much. Uh, but also something else to think about is let's say I've wrote an article and I've used www dot and I've linked it to my website without the www then I don't think the link juice goes to it but if we set our preferred domain to this one then even if links using the www uh, like the link you should go to this domain now I could be wrong and I'm not 100% sure but my point of this video was to show you how to set your preferred domain now if I click on save we're going to get an error message because it's telling us that we need to verify that we own this uh, domain because technically they're two different domains so what you'll have to do is come back to the home page by clicking on webmasters tools click on add a site and now we're going to enter in the domain name with www and click continue. Now, just out of curiosity, what I'm going to do is go onto my other methods here and select the HTML tag because I believe this is going to be the same. Let me just scroll up on second. It's still the same code. Now I'm just going to click on verify and see if that works. But the only thing is WordPress will redirect but because it's prob probably some kind of bot that's going to verify it might not. So let's just see what happens if I click verify. And there we go, we've verified it. Now if for some reason it gives you an error you'd have to you know, double check that it, the code was the same or you can go the other route and upload the HTML file. So I'm going to click continue. So now when I go back to my webmaster tools, I have, well I'm going to blur this out, but as you can see I have the same site uh, twice, the www version and the one without it. Now this is the one I want to use, so I'm going to click on it once, come back to configuration settings, and I'm going to say display URL as wainvite.com and click save and your, ch your changes were successfully saved. Anyway, that's pretty much how you do it and uh, if you run into any problems, you know, post a comment. I personally recommend that don't be afraid of using FTP because you sh sooner or later you're going to need to go into your FTP, uh, you know, do some FTP kind of file transfer or something so you should get over that fear and don't worry too much it's pretty straightforward and easy uh, anyway have a great day and enjoy your weekend